In this lesson, we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing integers, positive and negative numbers. There are basically two rules that you have to remember when you're working with integers and you are multiplying and dividing them. Uh, the first rule is if the signs of the integers are the same, then the answer is positive. So if you have a negative number divided by another negative number, your answer will actually be positive. Now, if uh, rule number two, if the signs are different, if you have a negative divided by a positive or a negative multiplied by a positive, then your answer is actually going to be negative. Uh, different signs, negative answer, or same sign, positive answer. Let's go ahead and work through some examples. Example number one, we have a negative four times a negative three. Please understand that these parentheses, when they're right next to a number such as this negative four, it means to multiply what's inside the parentheses times the number on the outside. So we're multiplying a negative four times a negative three. The first thing we're gonna do is we're simply going to multiply the absolute value, uh, which actually looks like this. That's an absolute value bar times the absolute value of negative three. The absolute value of negative four is four times the absolute value of negative three is three and four times three is 12. But then you look back at the original question and if both of the signs are the same, or if the signs are the same, the answer is positive, positive 12. Now on this one, we have an eight times a negative seven. So again, the absolute value, which is eight times absolute value negative seven is seven, and eight times seven is 56. But you look back and you realize that the eight's positive and the seven is negative, so the signs are different, so your answer is negative, negative 56. Now let's take a look at some division problems. Here in example one, we have 180 divided by negative six. Now, you do notice that the negative six is in parentheses, but the purpose of these parentheses is just to separate this negative six from the division sign. So don't get confused, uh, but it's to include the negative inside the parentheses. These do not mean multiplication when it's next to the division sign. We have 180 divided by a negative six. So we're dividing 6 into 180. 6 goes into 18 three times. 6 times 3 is 18. Subtract, you get a 0. Bring down your 0. 6 goes into 0 zero times. So 6, 180 divided by 6 is 30. But if you look back, one of your numbers is positive. The other number is negative. So your answer must be negative. Signs are different the answer is negative. Example four, uh, it's written as a fraction, but a fraction is a division bar, so we have negative 42 divided by negative six. Might look like this, negative 42 divided by negative six. So we just look at the number 42 divided by six, and that is seven. Look back at your original, both of the signs are negative, so the signs are the same, so the answer is positive. So the answer, for example, four is seven, positive seven. So the key to remember when you're multiplying and dividing integers, if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the sign is different, the answer is negative. 